Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the last in, first out method of inventory costing. It is a costing method that is based upon the assumption that inventory or materials purchased are sold or used in the reverse order in which they are received, which means that the last inventory to be received will be the first one to be sold or used. We're also going to use the perpetual method, which means that we'll be updating our inventory continuously. That means that after every transaction or movement of inventory, we have to update our balances. So here's an example here and we see the transactions that happened in, on, in January and it asks us to show the ending value of inventory using the last in first out method. And here's a table that we'll be using, a very important table and a good table to draw. So we have date, receipts, issues and balances and under each we have quantity, unit cost and amount. This is a very good table that will help you simplify your work and be able to docu document the movement of inventory very easily. So let's look at them. The first one says that on the 1st of January, inventories on hand were 50 units at the rate of 2 rand per unit and 100 units at the rate of 4 rand per unit. So we put our date, very important to always put your date. And then under receipts we have balances here because we are just documenting the balances we had from the previous period. And then under balances, that's where we document which inventory we, are, we have exactly. So we have 50 units at 2 rand per unit, and we have a total there of 100 rand, and 100 units at 4 rand per unit, and then we have our total. So that is how you document what we have on hand. And let's look at the second one. The second one says that on January the 5th, we purchased 60 units at 5 rand per unit. So we begin by putting in our date, and then we purchased inventory, so we put them under receipt. So every time an inventory comes into our premises or our business, we have to put them under receipts. So we're going to put the 60 units at 5 rand per unit, which equals 600 rand total. And then under balances, remember we're using the perpetual method here. So we update our inventory continuously or we update our balances continuously. So we have to update all the inventory that we have in stock. So we have 50 units at 2 rand per unit, 100 units at 4 rand per unit, and 60 units at 5 rand per unit which we have just purchased. So that is how you should, that's what you should remember to do. Always update all your inventory after each transaction. And we are done with the second one. Let's look at the third one. On the 10th of January, we purchased, so we sold 80 units of inventory. So we put them under issues because all the inventory that leaves our premises or our business will put them under issues. So we just sold eight units. But remember, this is the last in first out method. So first, let's document the last inventory that we had, we have in, that we received. Which one was the last one that we received? We received 60 units at five rand per unit. So that's the first one that we'll put under issues. 60 units at five rand. Uh, per unit, but remember we sold 80 units. So, okay, let's cancel out the 60 units. So we've just uh, Put aside all the 60 units that we last brought in and then what is the next inventory that we brought in last? It's the hundred units that we have last at 4 and per unit. So we sold 80 units So we put aside 60 units We need to put in aside 20 more units and we're going to take that from the hundred units because that's the last one we have that's the last one that we, we, we brought in that we still have in stock. So we have 20 units at 4 rand per unit because we took them from the 100 units. And that's the total of 80, 80 rand. So we have just put aside all the units. We just sold all the units that we, we wanted to sell, which is 80 units. And then what is our balances? We still have the 50 units at 2 rand per unit. And then from the 100 units, remember, we took out 20 units. So we are left with 80 units at 4 rand per unit. And we put in our totals there. And we have just sold all the eight units and we've recorded it down. So let's look at the fourth one. It tells us that on January 15th, we had we sold 75 units. So we sold 75 units. So we put in our date, 15 January. And then which was that? How many did we have that we brought in last? Well, we had 80 units at 4 rand per unit. So we have all that we need to sell this time. So we're going to just take them from the 80 units at 4 rand per unit. So we take the 75 units at 4 rand per unit, which equals 300 rand. And then what is our balances? We still have the 50 units at 2 rand per unit. And then from the 80 units, remember we just sold 75 units. So 80 minus 75 gives us a balance of 5 rand, uh, 5 units. And it's at 4 rand per unit and we have 20 rand. So those are the units that we have in stock, the 50 units and the 5 units. And let's look at the fifth one. 
100 units were purchased at the rate of 8 rand per unit so we just purchased 100 units so we put in we're gonna put it under receipts so we put in our date 17 january and under receipts we have 100 units at 8 rand per unit equals 800 rand so under balances we put in all the inventory that we have in stock so we put in 50 units at 2 rand per unit 5 units at 4 rand per unit and the new uh, inventory that we have in stock which is 100 units at 8 rand per unit and that's how easy, easy it is to record inventory using the last in first out method and then let's look at the next one January the 20th we sold 125 units so you can pause the video here and try and, and and do it yourself to see if you understand how it works and then we'll look at it so how do we do this one remember we put our date 20th of January and then how many units did we sell we sold 100 units so how many units did we have last we last purchased 100 units at 8 rand per unit so that's what we're going to put aside because we sold 125 so we put in the 100 units at 8 rand per unit and we've taken all the 100 units so let's cancel that we've cancelled the 100 units at 8 rand per unit and then how many more do we still need to put aside we've just put 100 units so we need 25 more units because we sold 125 units so we're going to take the next one that we have that we brought in last which is the five units at four rand per unit so we're going to take from there five five units at four rand per unit and we've just taken all of them so let's cancel that one out and then how many do we still have to put aside so that we can sell the 125 units we have 100 plus 5 which is 105 so 125 units that we need to sell minus 105 that we have put aside we have 20 more units to sell so we're going to take them from the next batch that we have that we brought in last which is the 50 units at 2 rand per unit so we're going to take the 20 from there so 20 at 2 rand per unit gives us 40 rand and we have just sold the 125 units 100 plus 5 plus 20 units we've just all sold all that we needed to sell now what how, m how many units do we have in stock what is our balances well remember from the 50 units at 2 rand per unit we just took the 20 units so 50 minus 20 we have 30 units left at 2 rand per unit and the total is 60 rand I hope if you tried it that's how what you got and you got it correctly and that is how simple it is to do this uh, to, to record the movement of inventory using the LIFO and that is it we were asked to do these six transactions and we have done them and it asks us to show the ending value of inventory using the liver method and that's what we've just done the ending value of inventory is 60 rand because it's 30 units at 2 rand per unit which were remaining and it's 60 rand i hope that has made sense if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comments below otherwise we have another tutorial using the fifo method or the first in first out method which should which should appear on your screen uh, right now and if this video has helped you in any way please consider subscribing and liking our video and sharing if you can till next time cheers